Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to create a way for people to sign up to our email list, to sign up to our email newsletter. So the way we do that is we go to the top right here where it says sign up forms. We click there and then we click in the middle, create sign up form. And here we have to choose from one of these options. So we can either create a simple registration form, which would be a pop up or an inline form. The pop-up is just like a registration form that will appear after like five seconds when somebody lands on your website. And then you have the inline form, which is the registration form um, that you can basically um, put anywhere on your website, like on the sidebar or in your blog article or whatever. And then you have um, the landing page, which is like a standalone website. And if you um, use this, you just get a link to that standalone website and that you can send people to to sign up to your um, email newsletter which is more for people that are that don't have a website or they just want to use one simple website to to kind of um, get new leads and then you have the Facebook lead ad which is something we not we will not look at in this uh, video which is more for Facebook ads and um, so I'm going to show you how to create an inline form and also a landing page if you want to create a landing page just skip ahead of this tutorial to the next part and um, if you want to create a pop-up form, just follow along with uh, this part right here because it's pretty much the same as the inline form. So um, to create that form, just click on inline right here and that will take us to the registration form editor of Constant Contact. Now you will notice that you will not have many customization options with uh, the editor of Constant Contact, but then again, it's very easy to create these forms, which is I think um, why they have, have um, done this. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the top here and give that form a name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a form um, for people that want to download my YouTube optimization checklist. So that would be, um, so let's say this is called YouTube checklist. Click save right here. And then we're going to adjust um, everything on the left side. So we can change the title, just click on title. And then um, we're going to name this, we're going to say get my uh, get my YouTube checklist here and as you see when it change this right here it will change it also on the registration form then we're also going to change the description um, I have just prepared a little bit of text right here um, I'm going to change it to this enter email address below to get instant access to this checklist um, then the contact fields so now um, Email is always required, so you have to ask for the email, obviously, otherwise you can't send them emails. But you can also ask for more things, so you can ask for the first name, the last name, and you can also ask for the phone number, just tick those options right there, and then it will show up. If you want to make it required, just um, click on this one right here, and then you will see this uh, red star, which says that it is required. But um, I usually just ask for the email and the first name, so that's what I'm going to do here as well. And I'm, I'm also going to make the first name not mandatory. So I'm going to make that optional um, like this. And then I'm going to choose the email list. So on email list, you choose the email list that um, people will go to when they sign up using this registration form. So like I said, this is for people interested in YouTube. So I'm going to, just going to choose the YouTube checklist, uh, YouTube list right here. Um, and then with the button, I'm just going to change the color to, let's say, uh, to a green right here. And the text color, I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm also going to change the text of the, the button to, let's say, um, let's say download. Cool. Now, um, you can also change the background. You can change the color and everything. But I'm just going to leave it as it is right here. Then on the settings right there, you can change the constant contact branding. You can just uh, hide this branding right there. That's the only thing you can do in the settings. And um, if you are uh, on this regular plan, um, the email plan, you can't um, hide this right there. This is only for email plus plan users. But as I'm on the trial for the email plus plan, I'm just gonna hide it. Cool, that's pretty much it. That's how we um, create the form. And once it's done, just click on publish on the top right. And now we've created our first sign up form. Now the next part is to actually put that form on our website. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do now. So the first thing you need to do is to paste your universal code in the footer of your WordPress website. So that's what I'm going to do first. So click on universal code right here. And then you will see that code. All you have to do is just click once 
and they will copy it to your clipboard. Now I'm gonna head over to um, one of my websites um, on WordPress. So this is the WordPress dashboard. So what we have to do is go to the bottom and click on appearance. And then we're gonna click on customize right here. Now we go to and click on, um, we're gonna click on widgets. And here you have to just um, take one of those footer columns and maybe it looks a bit different for you depending on what theme you have on WordPress, but it doesn't really matter. Just go to the one of the footer columns right here and then click on add widget. Then click on custom HTML right here. And this is where you wanna paste that code. So what I'm gonna do is just right click here and then click on paste. And then I'm gonna click done and publish on the top. And that's pretty much it. Once it's loaded, we're now able to put uh, our registration forms on our WordPress website. So I'm gonna go back to my constant contact um, account right here and click got it. And now we have inserted our universal code to WordPress. The next thing is we're gonna put the actual registration form on our site. So I'm gonna click the three dots right here and then I'm gonna click on inline form. And then again, we get another code. So again, we just click once and that will copy it to our clipboard. And then we will go back to our, um, to our website on WordPress. So let's go back right here. And so now you can decide where you wanna put that form. So you can either put that form on like the sidebar. So let's say we wanna put it um, on the side of our website. Um, the way we do that is we go back to um, theme, to appearance, themes, customize, and then to widgets. And then we click, instead of the footer column, we just click on sidebar right here. And we click on add a widget, custom HTML, and then we paste the code right here. Then click done. And again, we have to publish it. And now when we go back to our um, WordPress dashboard and we click on visit site, we can see if this worked. So we click on visit site and now, as you see here on the sidebar right here, we have our registration form where you can just type in any information and we'll then import it to your email list. Now you can also just put that form somewhere inside of your blog. So I'm also gonna show you how to do that. So on your WordPress dashboard, just go to your um, to your posts, then click on any post. So let's say this is one of my kind of blog posts right here, and I wanna insert my registration form somewhere right here. So I would have created like a YouTube SEO, tuto SEO tutorial um, as a blog article, and then I wanna ask people to download my YouTube optimization checklist. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a place where I wanna um, put that registration form. So let's say I want to put it right here. So what I'm going to do is just type in some random information, just 999. So I know exactly where I want to put that form. Then I'm going to go to the top right and click on the three dots. And I'm going to change to code editor. And then I'm going to scroll down and look for that 999 that I have just entered. So this is where I want to put that registration form. So again, um, I just copy my inline code right here go back to this code editor and then replace that 999 with that code. So I'm just gonna click paste and then click update right here. Once it's updated, we're just gonna click on preview, open in a new tab. And as you see, now we have this registration form inside of our blog post and as well on the uh, sidebar right here. So what you can do after you have added your registration form to your website, just type in a random email right here and the name and then see if it actually works. And um, it probably won't work for this site right here because it's not active, but just try it out, type in something here and then go back to constant contact to your, um, to your contacts right here and then see if this contact appears on your contact list.